guys, so in today's video we are going to make an event signup form in WordPress with the help of an incredible plugin. It will be easy, short and engaging, so let's start! So basically, those surveys are tools that call your guests for you and all you need to do is build an engaging, easy and short event signup form to get people involved. And it is essential to mention that this works perfectly for anyone or trying to organize an event because it would be a success if you knew beforehand the number of your guests, their preferences, some personal information maybe, so on and so forth. And as I've already mentioned in the video, we're going to make an event signup form which will be easy, engaging, short and within just a few minutes. So be attentive, let's start. So to start with, I'm using a WordPress plugin called SurveyMaker for today's video. When you open the survey, this is the screen that pops up. Here you can title your survey and here is the actual questionnaire part. The first fields on the form are form title and form description. Both are very important, especially for event signup form. Don't miss the description part because it is always nice to give some backup information about the venue, date or time. After completing the first steps, the next one is filling in the actual questions. The first several questions mostly ask for personal information such as first name, last name, phone number, date of birth or gender if necessary. Try to be more creative with questions. And as you can see from this list, any question can be suited with the right question type. Ours is name for this question and also uh, don't forget that these questions can be either required or not. The next question is the last name and here comes the important part, the essential questions that many people miss out. For example, asking for your attendees' opinions. It is always good to know what people expect and ask them to share their ideas. It is a long answer question, but do not overuse it because people might not simply have the time to fill it in. Um, or at least don't make them required. And here comes the emergency part. Ask for some backup number in case something might happen to your attendees so that you know what to do. If it's an event and you're going to serve a food, why not ask people about their allergies? But try to form your uh, question as a yes or no type and you can always add the other bar where people can give a long answer if they want to. You can always make fun user experience by creating matrix scale questions. These are question types which formulate multiple choice questions that are displayed in a grid of rows and columns. However, do not make infinite rows and questions because the more the better is not the case here. It is very easy to make but it can get difficult to answer if it is too long. So for the last question, I'm going to ask for the preferable date because it is good to know whether people are actually okay with the date that you have set for them. And after this question, you can add section in order to ask your attendees for information in case if they're coming. After adding section, give your section a proper Title, For example, mine is if you want to join the party, but it can be anything you want. Just work your imagination and create. And you can ask here for personal, you must actually ask here for personal information such as phone number and email via which you can keep them posted about venue, about time. And don't forget to make these questions required so that you know the exact number of people that are going to attend. And especially for emails, make them required because some people might not want to share their personal phone number, but for email, it is something that is safe, secure and working. And now it is time to give some personality to your survey and with SurveyMaker it is especially easier because it offers several themes and besides 
each button has a hint icon so you know their functionality you know how to work with it and some several months ago I was a beginner I was a freshman in this field just like you and this plugin is super beginner friendly because it helps you to develop on your own without any YouTube tutorials in a way of styling so that's it, everything important has been mentioned in the video, however you can always explore the plugin yourself because it has many other options and do not forget to save. That's it for today's video, I tried to make it as beginner friendly as possible. If you are at the finish line, don't forget to subscribe, hit your notification bell, see you soon, bye!